for today's activity. Well, actually, this is our introduction to NASA units, so today's activity is going to have to do with rocket science, but for beginners. Today's lesson touches on one of the things that motivates astronauts and NASA engineers, and that is the love of flight. We're going to explore flight, and we're also going to use a data table to measure what we learn. If you don't already know, NASA stands for National Aeronautics and Space Administration. NASA is a U.S. government agency, and it's responsible for science and technology related to air and space. NASA's engineers do a lot of amazing stuff, from designing the most powerful rockets intended for deep space exploration, to building instruments that can find water on Mars, making satellites, and much more exciting stuff. Speaking of exciting, let's start with the most exciting thing I can think of, a plastic cup thrilling. What is so thrilling about a plastic cup? And how can we use a plastic cup to understand NASA? Great questions. To answer them, watch what happens when I tape two of these cups together and launch them into the air. One of the many things that NASA engineers do is take measurements and then study those measurements so they can learn from them. So using these two cups taped together, what can we measure? We can measure how high it flies once you let it go. We can measure the distance it travels from the launch point to the end point. And we can measure how long the rocket stays in the air. That's just off the top of my head. There might be other things we can measure. What could you think of? How far something travels is known as its distance. The amount of time it takes an aircraft to travel a certain distance is known as flight time. But remember, we're going to need to study whatever measurements we take. So we're going to have to write down our measurements. And where do we write them down? In a data table. A data table is used to record information in rows and columns. It's used to help sort, analyze, and compare data gathered from a science experiment or a research project. As we think about our rocket cups, let's also think about the different materials that we could use and the different types of cups. You could use big plastic cups, medium plastic cups, little ones. You could use paper, styrofoam cups. You could have different results with all of these things. Whatever you have, you can use. You can see here in blue under type of rocket that I've made space for a few different types and I even included aluminum cans because those are a different material that I'm going to try, different from my plastic cups. And when we gather all the data from our measurements, how far they go, how long they stay in the air, that type of thing, then we can compare it and see which rocket cup did the best. So you can see that I've made a few different types of rocket cups and now I'm going to wrap the rubber band around each one and launch it off and see what I see. For my data chart, I'm just going to be able to measure distance, how far it travels, and flight time, which is how, how long it stays in the air by seconds. Another column here named notes. This is something I put here just in case I need it. Like if I have interference when I'm flying or something affects its flight, I need, I need to write it down so I remember what happened. And here's my launch pad, which is just a piece of tape that I put on the ground. And I'm gonna make sure that I step on that every time that I launch my rocket so I can have a consistent spot to launch from. And here's my aluminum cans. I have my data chart here and my tape measure. Now I'm going to measure. One. 
120. 160. 160. 192. So you can see I wrote down my distances for each one. I had to make some revisions here because the actual cups that I had were not what I wrote down, so I had to change it. Uh, and my aluminum cans went the farthest at 192 inches. I did not get to measure flight time. I was only measuring distance this time. If I were to do flight time, I would simply launch them again and use the timer on my phone to see how long they're in the air. And then I would write that down. For instance, 10 seconds. I don't know, whatever the answer comes out to be, that's what I would write down. To make your rocket cups, you will need a few things. You'll need some paper and something to write with so you can make your data chart. You'll need different kinds of cups or whatever materials you're going to use. You could also use uh, aluminum cans. You're going to need tape, a tape measurer, and you're going to need rubber bands. Making these things is really easy. You just take your two cups, you put one face down on the table, the other one face up on top of that, and then sort of line them up here. Then you're going to take your tape. The thicker the better, and you are going to tape them together. As you tape them, Try not to make it too lumpy. Try to make it aerodynamic so they can fly best. Use as much tape as you need. There we go. I've got it taped together pretty well. That's really all I have to do. And make sure that you do it if you only have a couple of one size of cups, you could just do it for that. But if you have other types, I really want you to try it with as many as possible. And if you do tape uh, two aluminum cans together, it's probably best to do it so that the solid part is on the outside of both of them. And then the open part, the tab that's open, is taped so it doesn't get any air inside of it. Now, you need to combine your rubber bands so you have a big one, like this. Very easy to do. You just take whatever thickness of rubber bands that you want, put one out like this, and the other sort of through, like that, and then take this end and loop it through this guy and pull it tight, and now they are stuck together. You should probably do that with at least three, maybe four rubber bands. This guy like this up okay and then I have my original one right here okay so how do you launch them take your rubber band and your cup put the end of the rubber band right about here on the cup and then take one thumb and hold it down and as you're holding it down kind of stretch it out a little and wrap it around don't let go with your thumb yet okay you see how you've got it wrapped around like that now it's on top right I'm just going to transfer it over to the bottom so that it's like a runway under the cup. And then I'm going to pull back. And there it goes. Make sure that you use your data table to keep track of what you do. You can see here that I've now filled in my flight time. This is how long each one was in the air. And I measured it with the timer function on my iPhone. It was, uh, I actually had to get somebody to help me with that. You might need somebody to help too. And then I wrote it down here. I kept track of my notes. Remember to use your measuring tape and always launch it from the launch pad so you have a consistent place to measure it from and then your results will be accurate. All right, great. Have fun with your rocket cups.